I'm Jerry Cox, Director of Family Council in Little Rock. Once again, nursing homes are telling people that they can't visit. They're acting as if a brand new law called the No Patient Left Alone Act never passed this year, but it did. And it's important that you know about it. If you or anyone you know has been turned away from visiting someone in a nursing home, you really need to understand your rights. First of all, the No Patient Left Alone Act clearly allows for what's called compassionate care visits. These are visits that are done for the well-being of the person that, live, that lives in the nursing home. And these are especially allowed if the person requests to see a certain person. The other thing that's clearly allowed are visits by clergy. There's never really been a legal ban on clergymen going to the nursing home for the spiritual well-being of the people who live there. So the law clearly backs this up. It's just that Sometimes nursing homes act like this law doesn't exist. So there are some things that you can do to empower yourself. First of all, you need to read three documents found on the Family Council website. The first one is Act 311, the No Patient Left Alone Law. You need to read that and know what it says. The second thing you need to read is the Health Department and Department of Human Services explanation of how the law is to be followed and that too is found on our website. The third thing you need to read are what's called the CMS guidelines. These are the, the federal rules that nursing homes have to follow during the pandemic, and these too are on the Family Council website. Just go to familycouncil.org and click on the No Patient Left Alone tab, and you can read all of these documents. After you have reviewed these documents, then you need to make your appeal directly to the administrator of the nursing home. Don't let them send you to a social worker. Don't let them send you to some other person there, an assistant or someone. You need to go directly to the person that is in charge of the facility. Make your appeal to them. If you fail, if they still won't let you in, then you need to go straight to the owner of the facility and make the very same appeal to the owner of the facility that you've made to the administrator. Now, if the owner of the facility seems unwilling to accommodate you and allow you to visit, then what you can do is bring in maybe a state representative, a state senator, and you can call them and I think they'll be willing to help you. Get them involved and really if all else fails, you need to get a lawyer and have them contact the owner of the facility on your behalf and I think if you'll do these things, you'll meet with success somewhere along the way. Obviously, you want to be kind and considerate and polite and all those things, but knowing your rights makes a difference. And so I would urge you to learn what your, what your rights are with this, and you can do this by following our instructions. And at the end of this video, you'll also see some other helpful numbers for state offices where you can report nursing home abuse and so forth. And so obviously you can call us anytime. We're here ready to help you. And uh, I just wish you well with trying to navigate this process.